Well, good morning and happy Wednesday. I am Nick. And I'm Mindy, and we're here on a sunny, little bit warmer day, ready to talk about Easter. That's right. So we do know that Easter is still a little over a month away, but I think if we're honest with ourselves, besides Christmas, we get really like caught up in daily life and things come up on us and holidays and, and whatever it is, it's often in our faces before we realize it. And we want to take time to really celebrate well the idea of the resurrection. So this is our encouragement to you to already begin thinking through some stuff that, that we're going to share with you to be proactive and celebrate the resurrection well with your family this year. Right, because holidays are such a good time to capture that family discipleship. That's one of those key key times. So um, we know that it's a month away, but we have we're going to offer you three questions to start thinking about. We don't want to just give ideas. We want to help give you some questions to maybe think through so that you can think, how does this work for our family and how can we make it fit in? So we're going to give you like a, three different questions today. And then next week for the next three weeks, we're going to talk to other people with some of their ideas about how they answer those three questions. But we want you to take these three questions and start working through that. Maybe with your, maybe with your grand, you know, your parents, like grandparents, like, Hey, how can we do this together? Or, um, maybe it's in your life group or a different group of people you're connected to. How can we start thinking through these um, questions? Yeah, to, to make the, the most out of the holiday. Yeah. And to really celebrate well what, I think we do such a good job at celebrating for a month the coming of our Savior. And often Easter gets relegated to just a day, maybe a weekend. And that, I think that should be celebrated just as much as the incarnation. Yeah. So the first question we want to ask you to start Throw thinking about, in. let's see if I remember it, is how can we remember the, the Calvary well? What does it look like to, it's tough to use the word celebrate for, for Good Friday, but we call it good for a reason. So what can we do as a family to remember uh, Calvary, Good Friday, and to, and to celebrate what was done on the cross well. Okay, and our second question, so Good Friday, then how do we celebrate Easter resurrection? How do we celebrate the resurrection well on, on Sunday? So what are you going to do as a family? Who are you going to include in that? How can you really celebrate that Jesus is, is alive? Um, from the meditating on Good Friday and remembering and reflecting to celebration on Resurrection Sunday. So those two days, Friday, Sunday. And then the third question is, what can we do as a family to reach out and invite and share this incredible news of the gospel with people around us? Whether it's a family that doesn't yet know the truth of Jesus or, or scripture, whether it's a neighbor, a co-worker, co mm -hmm. whoever it is, somebody on a miscellaneous kids sports team that you have a connection with, anybody. Like, what does it look like for you as a family to proactively, uh, I feel like target is an aggressive word, but uh, focus on, <laughs> yeah, is that better? Focus on one or, or two or, or a couple of people that your family could share this gospel news with and invite them to that Easter service that we're going to be having on Saturday. That's a great time to bring people in that maybe aren't comfortable or familiar with the church and the way we the way we do things. It's gonna be an outdoor service, weather permitting, and it should be a great time to invite people that need to know and hear about Jesus to come and hear about him. Yeah, so that's the question I think you probably wanna start with even now, because you can't just like on the Saturday before say, oh, hey, do you wanna to come to church with us today or tomorrow? You know, like you can't, can't necessarily do that and this is a great time during this Lent season mm -hmm. to be praying for that family that specific family or friend or um, relative whoever it is but I would I would suggest starting to think about that sooner rather than later if you need to come up with kind of a plan or like maybe we're gonna invite them to dinner maybe we're gonna do this and and pray as a family so three questions how do we remember Good Friday how do we celebrate the resurrection on Sunday? And how do we invite, include, pray for another family, neighbor, friend, relative that needs Jesus um, during this season? 
So we'll unpack those more with some other people in the next few weeks. But now you can get a jump start on your homework. That's right. <laughs> Lovely to see you again. Have a delightful Wednesday and be thinking about those questions. Have a good day.